In One Piece Film Red, Uta makes a blast so large that it makes the island look tiny and would make nukes look like tiny little baby Roman candlesticks. It's big. That's quite big. Impressive. Hello Internet, Jojo here, and today I'm going to take a stab at calculating one of Uta's or Top Musica's feats from the movie One Piece Film Red. In particular, this feat, which is probably the biggest feat in the actual movie. But I've seen no one talk about it, so I'm going to calculate it. To start off calculating the power of the blast, we first need to know the island size, as it is the only thing we can use for a reference point. Now, unlike Dressrosa, Punk Hazard, or even Delta Island from Stampede, Elgia doesn't have a map or anything we use to compare it to or measure it. So we're going to have to get a bit creative. You know what that means, guys. It's back to ye old pixel measurements. My favorite. Now, I generally don't like doing pixel measurements this way because I feel like there's more room for error. Whereas if you have a map, you can just measure the map. But anyway, we are doing pixel measurements. Okay, so this ship here is very likely the same type of ship that Admirals and Vice Admirals uses, one of the larger ones that we've seen Ors Jr. carry across the battlefield, and which coincidentally is also nearly exactly his height, 60 meters. So this ship is what we'll be using as our new ruler, a 60 meter ship. So using this, we can compare it to the concert area and then the concert area to the entire island to find that the length of the island is 5.147 meters long, or just over three miles. Taking this and applying it to the island and the blast, we find this blast is about 203 kilometers in radius. Removing the area in the center here, as including that would be unfairly increasing the blast's power, and we can't have that, and we find that the blast that we're calculating here, in particular, is about 191 kilometers. This blast moves 191 kilometers in about 1.8 seconds. That would put this blast moving at over 100,000 meters per second or closer to Mach 310. This is a hundred Machs over the speed of lightning, give or take a few here and there. This blast has a volume of about 17 quintillion meters cubed. So multiplying that by the density of cloud, 1.003 kilograms per cubic meter, and we find this blast was powerful enough to move 17.17 quadrillion kilograms. So now that we have all this information, we can now find this blast acceleration to be about 59,200 meters per second squared, and the force of this blast to be about 1.1 to the 21st power in newtons. Dividing the force with the surface area, and we find this blast had a pressure of 3 billion newtons per meter squared, or about 39,000 bars of pressure. Plugging all these numbers into a formula that would give the Lord of the Rings a run for its money in length, and we find that this blast produced and was worth over 41 petatons of TNT. That's a lot. And Luffy should like to scale to it in maybe his base, it's a bit hard to tell, but in his base, he was more than capable of taking repeated hits from Top Musica, but actually dominating both Top Musica and Uta in his higher forms. I mean, the only reason that he needed help, really, is because of Top Musica's ridiculous defense hack. It just is stupidly broken. I mean, they make it quite clear that Luffy could have one-shot Uta at pretty much any point. But in the end, guys, this would cause a level of destruction unparalleled on planet Earth. Luckily, they're not on planet Earth, or they, everyone would be dead. Just, that's what would happen. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. See you next time. Remember to stay spectacular. Jojo, out. Bye-bye!